okay good day guys so we'll be starting with um how to purchase uh on binance p2p how to use the binance p2p so we all know due to the cbn ban you, you can't use your uh, debit card to purchase anymore on binance app on a normal day before you could do that but not anymore so we we'll launch the binance app then you select p2p yeah so to make this easy let's say you just downloaded the app normally the app might look like this there's the binance light for beginners so you can also use the p2p here but i don't know for me it's a little bit much more expensive i don't know why but just to be on the safer side just tap the upper icon here that shows the profile then uh check this to binance pro then you select p2p yeah then um now here you have usdt you have btc you have busd you have bnb now in my former class i explained that uh, we have stable coins so stable coins are like your normal us dollar pound sterling and all that stuff so they don't really go up and go down like all the cryptocurrencies they are made like they are they are backed with the currency they actually represent so usdt is uh more or less like us dollar then busd is more or less like us dollar but it's binance us dollar so if you want to buy any assets it's actually best you buy usdt or you buy uh bnb um, I said BNB, sorry, BUSD, because both are actually stable coins. So, but most times, most people prefer to buy USDC because you can easily send USDT across exchanges, unlike BUSD, that some exchanges don't really support uh, BUSD. So, you select USDT up here, you, you can select the P2P mode you like to use. If you select express that means the uh system is going to automatically match you with somebody that is willing to sell uh usdt for you but if you select p2p that means you have to select manually yourself so here are uh, different merchants that are actually willing to sell so if you are trying to select manually maybe you are trying to look for a good rate and all that stuff you have to be careful because there are some scammers obviously so you have to make sure you are buying or purchasing from a verified merchant that's those with the yellow ticks this verified one like this guy i use this guy a lot though i'm not advertising for him please i'm not endorsing him. i'm just saying so you have you have to use verified merchants so but let's say we want to use express so you you enter the amount you would like to buy let's say you want to buy fifty thousand this is it fifty thousand you buy with zero fee it's going to show you the amount of dollar you get it's fifty thousand so that means we are getting one hundred and one point seven three usdt this is the present rate you are buying it that is four ninety one point four nine per one usd so confirm purchase so once you click confirm purchase it's going to show you this screen so this screen means you have to uh select the payment method in which you like to pay the person so this is the guy's payment method uh he's using kuda bank so you copy the bank details and you transfer the money once you transfer the money you just click transfer the fund so once you, you click transfer the fund it's going to show you another page similar to this showing you the bank details again in case you've not transferred the money so just click transfer the next that's the next button you see after transfer the fund once you click transfer the next you can click the chat icon here and tell the person that oh i've paid you can just tell the person that you've paid so once you tell the person you can also send uh proof of payment and all then once you do that just this pending payment will change to 
um receiving payments so receiving payments means you, like he's waiting for you to receive your own payment so once the guy confirms that oh truly you sent the money he's going to send you your usdt and you get the complete screen so i'm not buying so let me just cancel this um other reasons so okay hold on yeah so cancelled so let me show you um what it feels like so after doing that process once you get your assets you can't actually use your asset to trade until you click your wallet then select p2p so once you select p2p you see your assets around here usdt so in order to transfer the a usdt you just purchase once you click this p2p click this usdt then click transfer once you click transfer you get this dialog box now this send means you can easily send or transfer to another uh binance user using that method where you'll be charged zero fees or you can just select transfer now transfer means it's going to ask you to send the usdt or your assets from your p2p to your spot wallet so in order to do that once you click the transfer select this place where you have btc select usdt up here then it's going to change this to usdt that means this is the asset you are trying to transfer then you type let's say you have 200 usdt in your p2p wallet you tap 200 then you click confirm transfer and there you have it you see the usdt in your sports wallet so once you have it in your sports wallet which is here you can now go to trade then you can now select a coin pair you like to trade with so that is actually how to uh, do your how to use the binance p2p is i think that is quite simple enough